what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's cherry in this video i'm going to talk about my wisdom um, teeth removal experience so i'm going to talk about the cost um my experience going through it and especially my experience um right after it so on june 2nd roughly it's july today's july 12th so june 2nd so last month i got my wisdom teeth removed first off let me tell you how i found out my wisdom teeth had to get removed um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I want braces or Invisalign and um, I went for the consultation about two months prior to getting my wisdom teeth removed. Um, I went, you know, they um, tell you about Invisalign, the payment, blah, 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 blah. So they took the x-ray and then the um, dentist came in and showed me the x-ray. Long story short, she said before I even put the Invisalign on you or, you know, you get the molds ready or whatever, you have to get your wisdom teeth removal and we at this clinic do not do um, tooth extraction. So they had to refer me to a whole nother clinic. I ended up going to a place close by Mayfair Mall. If you guys live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, well in Wisconsin, you know what mall I'm talking about. So um, that's how I found out. I was actually going to get, you know, I was trying to get gain information about getting braces or Invisalign, take X, but they like, hold up, Jack. We got to take them with, well, somebody got to take them wisdom teeth out before we even touch you. The day before, I got an email. They told me, you know, I couldn't eat um, six hours prior to. Now, I was confused on whether I was just going to get the um, nitrous oxide, a.k.a. laughing gas, or I was going to be put to sleep. That was my big waiver because my insurance... I found out like hours before my surgery or tooth extraction that my insurance didn't cover just the um, nitrous oxide, the laughing gas by itself. It would have been more, but it did cover for me to go to sleep. So I did go to, I did opt to be put to sleep, and then um, I paid out of pocket maybe 465. I didn't, pay, I didn't expect to pay nothing out of pocket. I thought my insurance would cover everything, but I guess not. So <laughs> I ended up paying like 465 out of pocket. I was mad about that, but I'm like, you know what, it needs to be done. I really want my Invisalign, and I don't want, you know, that pain to hit through months later or years later, because the, when they showed me the x-ray of my teeth, those were some tooth were, like, these two down here were, like, coming in like this, and the other one were coming straight down. So I guess they were eventually going to break through my gums one day, and I did not want to experience that pain, so I just bit the bullet and paid for it. So let me cut to at the dentist's office. So I'm waiting. They called me back and actually they didn't tell you they do give you a little bit of the nitrous oxide if you watch any other youtube videos um it's like this little bitty like plug thing they put over your nose and like the nitrous oxide does go up your nose or whatever so they do give you that a little bit of that just to calm you and relax you before they put the iv in so the doctor came in um i was a little you know what was so weird about that the nitrous oxide aka the laughing gas it didn't make me laugh I was expecting to be goofy because I saw like some videos on YouTube prior and I'm like people are laughing I'm like I want to laugh so like soon as I got it I didn't laugh I'm like nothing's funny then he tried to tell me my nurse tried to tell me knock knock jokes and I'm like okay nothing's working can you just please be quiet so the doctor came in of course they put the IV in not an easy process they couldn't find a vein on me you know I'm 5'2 140 pounds so I, I'm just a small girl, I'm a small woman, so they couldn't find a vein. It took them like 25 minutes, I kid you not, it took them 25 minutes to find a vein on me. And when they finally did, um, they ended up going through my wrist. Wonderful, not through the forearm. He even said, can you take off your shoes? I'm like, oh, y'all trying to stick Ivy through my feet, this ain't right. So then he like came back on this side and he like flipped me and they took it through my wrist. And then I remember like before he put the... Um, you know, anesthetic in me. He was like, are you allergic to any anesthesia? I'm like, not that I know of. I am. Y'all gonna find out today. And then, um, uh, like, as soon as he put it in, I remember them strapping me down. They, they strapped me down. And then I remember them putting something in my mouth to hold my mouth open. And they put the oxygen over my face. And then, like, seconds later, I was, like, out. Sleep. Nothing. And it felt like five minutes went by. So after I woke up, it just felt like five minutes went by. And I wasn't in pain. I wasn't in pain. So um, they walked me over to the recovery room. And then you guys are going to see. This is me straight out of surgery. This is my reaction to the me waking up from the anesthesia like minutes later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boo, 
why are you crying? Okay, she's tripping. I'm gonna cut it off because she's about to cry. She's tripping. <laughs> Y'all just saw that I was a little, you know, I can't be sexy anymore. I don't know why I said that because I just felt like so like out of it a little bit. But when I went home, oh yeah, another thing. My mouth was so effing dry. Like my mouth felt like a nail file, like sandpaper. I'm like, oh my God, my mouth is just so dry and I was drooling and then I had the gauze in. But it wasn't that much blood, but I wasn't in pain. I thought I was going to be in excruciating pain, but I wasn't because my mouth was still numb, obviously. So, they prescribed me with ibuprofen, um, antibiotic, which is um, doxaloxin. Hold on, let me get it for you. Okay. So, my dentist wrote me a prescription for antibiotic, which I never finished. Well, I'm going to tell you why in a minute. He wrote me a prescription. Oh, damn it, you can't see. This is the antibiotic he gave me. And then he also gave me, like, I can't even pronounce this shit. I think this was supposed to be, like, my pain medicine. Yeah, I never finished it. And then, um, it, it's supposed to be, like, a bootleg version of Vicodin. I never finished it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why in a second. But when I first got home, I felt normal. My mouth just felt, I, I was more uncomfortable than in pain. It was just really uncomfortable. Like, you can't move. Your mouth was just, like... And then as soon as I got home, that's when the swelling started. Like, I was drooling, and you can actually choke on your own spit, so I couldn't lay back flat. I had to lay, I had to, like, take a nap or go to sleep, kind of sitting upright a little bit. And I would say, if you're going to get your wisdom teeth removed, the days after, you are going to be swollen. I'm going to show you videos of me swollen for, like, five days straight. The annoying thing, besides that you look like you got your ass beat, you drool a lot, and you're not going to eat. So, um, that's another thing. You're not going to eat. And you're going to lose weight. I lost five pounds. Hey, didn't mean to, but I couldn't eat. And another problem with me being on this antibiotic and, um, I guess painkillers, one of these medicines caused me to be constipated. So, that is the reason why I did not finish the antibiotic. This is the antibiotic, and it's sitting right here. I didn't finish it. I didn't. I'm like, I don't know what, I don't, and I can tell which one because I was taking them at the exact same time the same day i can tell which one was so like after day five i just took ibuprofen i said f these pain pills and f this antibiotic lord please i hope i don't get no infection or i don't get um a dry socket that's something i was fearing because i kept sucking okay pause but like i kept like I, you can't drink through a straw none of that so um here are the videos leading up i did like um a post like day by day I did how I was feeling the the very next day and then up until like day four what was most annoying about that is just like your face is swollen I remember looking in the mirror and not feeling like myself I think I said it like every day like I look like a whole nother person so um here are the videos of my face looking jacked up hi everybody good morning it's the day after my wisdom teeth removal um Um, it's Sunday, uh, June 5th. As you can see, my face is still very, very swollen. Um, I woke up this morning thinking the swelling went down some, but not really. Um, it's day 5, I guess, or day 4. It depends on how you look at it. It's Monday. Thank you for watching this um, video and subscribe, like, leave a comment. How was your wisdom tooth extraction if you have one? If you never got your wisdom teeth removed, good luck with that. So, um, God bless and thank you for watching this video. Mwah.